R V R. In basic English grammar, we have successfully completed 15 video lessons. Now I'm going to release a new series on tenses. Tenses are the heart of English language. In this connection, I would love to teach you first the preliminary knowledge about be form, do form, how form uses in English. Today we are going to learn be form uses. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe our channel. Let's go and learn today's lesson. Welcome back to RVR English online classes. Dear students, we have learned in part one B form usage how to construct sentences with B form in the present, past, and future tense. Now we are going to learn how to change the statement into negative, negative to SR no question and SR no question to WH word questions. It's very useful. All of you, please practice because I have given you practice test also at the end of this video lesson. Okay, we have learned uh, how to use be form in tenses. Now let's learn how to change the statement into negative in this page. Statement and negative sentence. I am a poet. Can we say all time I am a poet, I am a poet? Sometimes you may not be a poet. You have to say no. Then what would you need to use here? You have to use not. I am a poet. Negative. I am not a poet. We are doctors. We are not doctors. You are a singer. You are not a singer. He is an engineer. He is not an engineer. She is a teacher. She is not a teacher. It is a cow. It is not a cow. They are players. They are not players. This is a mango. This is not a mango. There is an elephant. There is no elephant. So in place of nouns like poet, doctor, singer, you can use your own sentences. Write it in notebook and practice and create different sentences with the B form. Now let's learn how to change statement into yes or no question and WH word question. For example, see there, I am a poet. Here yes or no question, how I changed? Yeah, I am a poet. In English sentences, whatever the sentence you want to change into question, just to put a helping verb before the subject. If you put helping verb after the subject, it becomes a statement. If you put before the subject, it becomes the question. Very easy. Any sentence you can easily change. Practice this. Observe carefully. In future grammar videos, we have a lot of work. I teach you questioning skill also. Just understand how to construct B form sentences and how to change statement negatives, S and questions and double short questions in this class. So let's learn. I am a poet. How do I change? Yeah, am I a poet? Are we doctors? Means we are doctors. How I change? Are we doctors? You are a singer. Are you a singer? He is an, an engineer. Is he an engineer? She is a teacher. Is she a teacher? It is a cow. Is it a cow? Are they players? They are players. Are they players? Is this a mango? Actually, what is the sentence? This is a mango. So we change it. In. Is this a mango? Is there an elephant? The actual sentence is statement. There is an elephant. Here what you have to understand if we put B form in front of the subject it becomes a question. Then use question mark. Observe carefully every sentence has question mark. Now let's go to WH word question. WH word questions. If you know how to make a certain question it becomes very very easy. See? Yeah my. Are we? 
are you is he is she is it are they is this is there like this how i am changed yeah i a poet so what word is removed here a poet in place of poet what we use what what am i only two words remained we removed a poet in place of a poet we use a what are we doctors see we remove doctors what would we use what are we but same double helping verbs you see are we what are you what is he what is she what is it what are they what is this what is there see first two words plus wh word why we use what uh, we use what for things and professions and other things in future grammar the questioning skill i teach you very deeply and clearly all these things just to here learn how to change statement into negative negative into a certain question and wh word question now learn a certain question wh word questions in past tense already we learned how to change statement to a certain question same principle same rule in every tense just put helping verb in front of the subject see i was a poet was i a poet we were doctors were we doctors you were a singer were you a singer he was an engineer was he an engineer she was a teacher was she a teacher it was a cow was it a cow they were players were they players this was a mango was this a mango there was an elephant was there an elephant same rule same first two words we use here also in wh word question was i a poet it's a question therefore what was i what would we remove a poet in place of a poet what would we use wh word question what because it's a profession were we doctors what were we what were you what was he what was she what was it what were they what was this what was there easily you get construct easily you can change wh word question into statement for example what was i i was put helping verb after be form i was i was a poet statement negative sentence in past tense we learned already now how to change present tense statement negative as an equation wh word question same rules but only word change in place of is am are here we use only was were in past tense i was a poet i was not a poet we were doctors we were not doctors you were a singer you were not a singer he was an engineer he was not an engineer she was a teacher she was not a teacher it was a cow it was not a cow they were players they were not players this was a mango this was not a mango there was an elephant there was no elephant observe this is past tense therefore we use was were in present tense we used is am are in past tense we are using was were keep in mind statement and negative in future tense let's learn i shall i will don't worry just use only will later let's learn why do we use shall in academics we use shall for i and we but normally in colloquial language we use will for all subjects therefore just i have given to make you understand the uses of shall and will let's construct sentences with the will i will be a poet this is a future tense i will be a poet we will be doctors you can use shall also we shall be a doctors future not present 
not past it's a future in future you will be a singer he will be an engineer she will be a teacher it will be a cow they will be players this will be a mango there will be an elephant sentence meaning i will be a poet means in telugu nenu kavini avtanu in future negative sentence i shall not become short form shan't will not becomes won't what are the short forms we use short forms in spoken english and we use will not shall not in written form when you write shall not will not and won't shan't is a spoken expression you can write it the spoken expression in written form so let's learn i won't be a poet we won't be doctors these are spoken written i will not be a poet we will not be doctors like this i have given spoken and written so i read written expressions and spoken expressions don't confuse you will not be a singer you won't be a singer he will not be an engineer he won't be an engineer she will not be a teacher she won't be a teacher it will not be a cow it won't be a cow they will not be players they won't be players this will not be a mango this won't be a mango there will not be an elephant there won't be an elephant spoken written future meaning not present not past okay dear students now fill in the blanks with the suitable be forms as directed we learnt already what be form we use in present tense what be form we use in past tense what be form we use in future so be present tense we use is am are past tense we use was were in future will be will be for all okay if you want to use sub so iv use shall be also right negative won't be or shan't be will be shall be so we practiced go back and watch it again then you could do that okay do this exercise and write it in your notebook dear students don't forget to like share comment and subscribe our channel moreover from this video lesson onwards i'm i have started teaching you new series of tenses it will help you a lot if you follow our video lessons properly you could become a great speaker and writer and good learner of english language let's meet again okay dear students change the following as directed easily you can do it because we have learned this section in this video lesson just write as you are asked to write the answers and dear students note down these questions and answers into your notebook okay you can do it easily okay students and friends i think you understood it well b forms are the most important verb forms dear students note down the important points in your notebook don't forget to like share comment and subscribe our channel let's meet in another useful video lesson until bye bye no